Hello and welcome to another update video about Harmony 1. I think um, in this case it looks even clearer than with Phantom that that move up was a wave B, which is coming down far too strong here for that just to be a little bit of a, a correction in a larger move up. Um, no, I think this might be over now um, while Bitcoin dropped. Something that I've been talking about here throughout this move up that we're getting very close to a correction. Uh, I took profits here along the way, made you aware. I think the last profit I took at 34 cents. It did then move up all the way to 37, 38 cents. I had another sell order set at 39 that wasn't just about reached. So it was a bit too high. Um, I thought it might get there, but it didn't. But yeah, it was pretty much, uh, I'm glad that I remained again bearish throughout here, um, that I assumed this would be an ABC correction. Um, is there still a chance we could move up from here? I mean, yeah, of course there always is, but in my view, that is showing it's playing out. ABC correction, um, this is what I said when we started to move up here. I gave you here this target area for S area where the price would with the highest likelihood reverse. And for how many one was S was so strong that it moved straight through here. It did react to it various times, yeah, at the support and resistance levels, but it then moved even above. And I did tell you throughout that this is a possibility, even though a less likely one. Well, it did max out pretty much what a wave B can do. Could have gone a little bit higher, but it maxed it out pretty much. And now we're going down here. In my view, in this uh, wave C, it has even broken the 50 day moving average at 25 cents. Phantom, I think, uh, as I make this video, is still holding above that 50 day moving average. But for everybody who's watching, who's been watching my videos, this was no surprise. I've been talking about lower prices. I have this target area still here on the charts. Um, prices seem crazy low where I expect it to go around 14 cents, yeah, uh, between 13 and a half and actually nine cent. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, you could even say I was laughed, <laughs> laughed at when we were at here uh, 39 cents and I talked about the target area as a very, very realistic possibility. Uh, but to be fair, we've already moved from the high here um, nearly 50% into that direction, right? We've dropped 50%. All you need now is a move from around 20 cents to 13 and a half, which doesn't sound that unrealistic, does it? So I nevertheless started to dollar cost average into Harmony 1 now, took profits along the way here, start to reinvest. That's what I like to do with a smaller percentage to start with but I do expect lower prices going forward. If they don't come, then fair enough. At least I did reinvest some of it. Um, that's my strategy, really like it, works well, keeps the emotions out of the way to a certain degree. And um, yeah, as you know, on this channel, we remain calm. We were prepared for the dip for all cryptos and um, really glad that I could prepare you for that. I see that in the comments because um, we've been talking about these dips here that are happening for weeks now, for many weeks. Um, Overall, looking at the indicators here on the, on the daily as well, the RSI is not yet in the oversold territory, even though I think after such a strong drop, there will be some support here, possibly at the 50 day, uh, the 0.5 FIP level at 20 cents. This is also very close now here to the 200 day moving average at 19.3 cents. Uh, but nevertheless, I would, because I do expect Bitcoin to drop further as well. With what I expect for Bitcoin, I think a move down into this target area is actually not too unrealistic for Harmony One. And the good thing is, this is a huge opportunity. You know, if we really, really get into these lower price ranges, then um, and the, the price will turn around here with a high likelihood, then I think um, yeah, we, we can expect very, very nice um, profits then in the next wave up. But where we are, and I did tell you that on the weekly chart, for example, we were just very high with the MACD. And you can see that now that we are starting to see here a bearish cross again on the weekly MACD, which just shows the longer term high level trend um, is pushing down now. The momentum is pushing down. It's also lost the 50 line, the bullish line on the RSI on the weekly. So all of that pointing further to the downside and on the four day chart, which is to be fair in terms of the indicators, oftentimes the boss uh, is pushing down here as well. And we had a bearish cross here as well. So I expect going forward lower prices. There could be a little bit of a counter move. Nothing moves down in a straight line. But to be fair, this was damn, damn uh, straight down already. So there is um, there isn't much more. Well, there is more space, but 
we're getting much much closer to the target area than uh, well much faster than even i expected but um, yeah it's looking good so far not for someone who was bullish all the time but you know on this channel we've remained very very skeptical above this move up and uh, we had the abc on the chart there was of course the possibility to move higher here but i told you along the way that even if this happens which was not and it was not my primary scenario then we can't expect massively new highs here because we were just too high on some of the indicators especially on the higher time frames here for example on the weekly to tell you that with an rsi at 65 on the weekly you can't expect like a 2x 3x it, it's hardly possible and um, yeah now this is a seem it seems to be playing out okay so what a day really across the crypto markets um but yeah again for everybody who's been following me not really too much of a surprise which is great could prepare you for that which is fantastic and i'm quite glad it's playing out and of course it doesn't need to mean that we're going to drop much further i couldn't be wrong here as well so far it's playing out but because there is always risk i prefer to be prepared for all scenarios which is why i start to slowly dollar cost average in again but i pretty much believe that there will be lower prices and of course everybody can start to dollar cost average at their own convenience but i find that a very good approach um i prefer it not to do it at an all-time high but when we then get these dips and to be fair there will always be dips there will always be dips we've seen that with the sandbox i remember when we were at eight dollars i said you know think about profit taking of course i can't give you financial advice but we then saw a drop to 550 first i remember my videos from a month ago two months ago where i talked about prices around four dollars maybe even lower we're seeing that now and you always get these dips there will always be new opportunities and um, fomoing in is is dangerous so hopefully with these videos i can help you a little bit to change your mindset a little bit you know of course you always do you need to do your own research everybody's responsible for their own investment decisions but there are far too many moon boys out there and i'll be i'll become the biggest moon boy i tell you that i'll become the biggest moon boy as soon as we get into these target areas down here for all cryptos and we see a reversal because then we can see in my view a 10x 20x for most cryptos yeah and um, then the moon boys will all start again and tell you i told you so but they didn't tell you about the bear or i, I don't want to call it the bear market but the correction so we are going through this here trying to catch the, the low and then um yeah you know this this can change lives for many people in my view so we'll see if that actually is going to play out all right hopefully um you liked the update if you did please smash the like button and subscribe and if you really like the content maybe you want to join as a channel member uh join the discord telegram community and uh, a weekly live stream sunday is the next one at 1700 utc really great you can see my buy and sell orders everything i do basically my hodl portfolio and meet a great community thanks a lot for watching bye bye